lose a game the way you lose a game like that. That for me is unacceptable. You know, but I'm not going to sit here and talk tactics. There's no point in that. You know, mistakes cost you. And they cost you three points, you know, so you got to learn from your mistakes, but you got to understand the level that you're playing at. There's no easy games in this league. Every single game is hard. Every single game is a fight. And you got to fight for those three points for 90 minutes. Or like tonight, 97 minutes. We didn't. You know, you got to know when to control the game. You know, got to you got to know when to manage the game. You got to manage your emotions. And we didn't do that. You know, so very very disappointed. But we also called gut wrenching. I mean, uh, what did you say to them in the dressing room after the game? I haven't spoken to them. <laughs> Remember, the game just ended, so I haven't had the opportunity to talk to them yet. Coach, what is that? Like you under the walls, um, obviously you you probably feel as if you did enough tactically to win the game because you were able to come back because uh, you were able to come back um, and then as you said um, because of mistakes, uh, swappings here and there, um, it's it's very hard to ask whether do you feel like your side did enough in terms of planning, in terms of tactics to actually get the results, um, if you actually put aside the individual areas that... Uh, tactically, I think we got it spot on. I think we got it spot on, you know, first off. What did, what did they create in the first half? We conceded from a set piece that we should never have conceded from. But the ascendancy was with us. We controlled the match in the first half. In its entirety. We controlled the first 20, 25 minutes of the second half. In its entirety. And then you threw it away. So tactically, did we get it right? Yes. Uh, coach, I'd love the results. Um, how do you um, coach something like that when it comes to individual areas? And the message that you get Video out. analysis. <clears throat> Video analysis. That's what we do. Yeah. Video analysis. We go back now. We sit. We study. We, we re-watch the match. We watch it again and again and again. Look at the errors. Bring the players in. Show them their errors. And move on to the next one. And hopefully we see less and less. That's how you try and fix it. You know. Sometimes, obviously, when there's a lot of errors, then you make changes. So... That's what we got to do. Coach, um, <coughs> I don't know the results. Are you going to be entering the, the, the last week of uh, the transfer window? Uh, are you chasing any um, reinforcement? And also, I saw you guys appealing for the penalty that was the end of the news. Uh, what's your take on that? I haven't had the opportunity to see the, the video. But I felt the player jumped with his arm, led with his arm. I haven't seen it on TV, but it, that's what it looked like. Our player said the ball hit the arm. You know, but what am I going to say? Is that going to change anything? It's not going to change a damn thing. So we move on. No. We're happy with the squad that we have. I believe the squad we have should be doing way better than what it is. Way better than what it is, you know. So they need to, we all need to take a hard look at ourselves. And, yeah, move on. Coach, uh, coach do you think the fact that the, the previous results, do you think they play any element psychologically when it comes to game of of the stage that you use at the end of the having played very well, do you think that sort of losing streak plays a certain part in how it shouldn't? Not not start. when you're leading two one. When you're one 0 down, yes. 
and one will down, your heads can drop. But we didn't drop our heads. We continued doing what we were doing, believing in what we were doing. And, and like I said, you could see we were going to get back into the game. I could feel that we were getting back into the game. And, and we did. But then we had the opportunities to kill off the game. Get the third goal. And then you don't, you don't score those and then the pressure mounts. Because the opposition as well. They're going to take more risk. They're going to throw more numbers forward. They're going to look for flick-ons and the set pieces. You've got to be a lot better. You've got to, one, try and prevent giving away silly set pieces against them. And two, you've got to deal with the ball coming into the box. So, you know, I don't think the, 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 the past results had anything to do with uh, the performance in the first 75 minutes. Did it have something to do with it when, when they equalized? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because once they got the equalizer, now you start panicking and you're panicking and you're thinking, oh, we need to get a third. You know, we need three points desperately. We need, no, no, you've got to manage the game. Be clever. Accept the fact that, hey, you threw it away, at least you can leave here with a point. But now you go throw everything away. You know, it doesn't make sense. Just a last one for Master Coach. Um, the big call to, to go with Mbandi, I mean, he hasn't played that for a long time. Uh, yeah. Just on that, giving kids out because we're trying to arrest, I mean, it's the, the losing streak. And also, it might be the positive as much as we lose the game, but the positive is that my final score. Yeah, so <laughs> this is the thing. You've got a first choice and you've got a second choice goalkeeper. And like you say, why do you have a second choice goalkeeper? He's there to back your first choice. When is he supposed to back him? When is he injured or when, he, when he's lacking form? That's just fact. So opportunity was there for, for Bongs to come in and, and get an opportunity to play. It's not easy being a second choice because you can spend a long, long time without game time. But obviously we play a lot of friendly games and there we try and get his sharpness. We give him more game time than what we give the, the first choice, you know. But I had all the faith and the belief in, in Bongani today. So, you know, everyone makes mistakes. You know, Darren was making mistakes. Can't blame the guy now for, for the mistakes he made, you know. Still, still a good goalkeeper. And then Mayo, yeah. Mayo should have scored, in my view, three in the first half. Three. He had one that he hit into the side netting. And then he had another one that he tried to loop the keeper that went over the crossbar and then he scored. So he should have already scored a hat-trick in the first half. You know, so this game, we should have taken it away from Amazulu in the first half and we didn't do that.